we're going to review some of the nmap scan types now you may know or remember that nmap is a port scanning utility and so it can actually use a number of different techniques in order to determine whether ports are open or not and also what operating system is running on the host that you're scanning so i just want to walk through some of the different scan types that are pretty common in traditional using nmap now the first thing is i need administrative rights and since i'm running this under a mac in this particular case i need to be able to have administrative rights here so i'm going to use sudo for that and i'm going to run nmap i'm going to run a sin scan and I'm going to do that on 192.168.1.39. So I didn't actually specify any ports in this case. So I'm just using the thousand or so common ports or well-known ports that Nmap uses by default. And what I did here was just a simple SYN scan. Now, what I'm doing with the SYN scan is I'm sending out a TCP synchronize packet and I'm expecting a SYN ACK back. So what I'm actually doing is I'm leaving a connection half open because I'm not actually replying with an ACK message. Now, if I wanted to maybe make a little less noise because a lot of half open connections may cause some eyebrows to be raised depending on what sorts of intrusion detection or other monitoring utilities are being used what i could do is do a full tcp open scan and that's minus st here and we should get the same ports back and of course we do so that's a tcp scan where i do the full handshake and i'm doing the sin i get the sin act back and then i send the act back i do a full open on the tcp port so again these are all tcp ports that we've been looking at so far i could also do a udp scan minus su would be a udp scan and i could do 192.168.1.39 again udp scans can actually take quite a lot of time because I'm not actually doing a connection establishment. And so there's nothing to indicate whether the message to the port was actually received or not. And so I end up having to do a lot of retransmits if I don't get messages back because I don't really know whether it was received or whether the port actually wasn't listening or what was going on. So UDP scans can actually take quite a lot of time and I've seen cases where UDP scans can actually take literally days to finish depending on how far away the system is, how slow the system is responding, the number of ports that I'm actually scanning. In this case, again, I'm scanning just the default set of ports. If I were to scan all 65,000 ports, that could take quite a lot of time. So I'm going to kill that. And of course there are oddball scans as well, but sometimes these are useful in order to do firewall evasion, for example, or do some other types of scans that may get less noticed. So this would be a Christmas tree scan. And that's where all of the TCP flags are actually lit up. And it's called a Christmas tree scan as a result because everything is lit up and it looks like a digital equivalent of a Christmas tree, I guess, if you want to think of it that way. So I'm doing a Christmas tree scan and again, I get the same ports that are open and because of the way that it responds, we can't really tell whether it's open or whether it's just filtered. In other words, if there's a firewall in between or not. So that's just a few of the basic NMAP scans, and we'll get into some advanced scanning in the next lesson.